Hello Divination and welcome. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you three effortless scroll motion effects you can add to your headlines with Divi. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the first thing we need to do here is to create a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here and click on add new. We're going to give this page a name. And of course you can use this technique on an existing page or a brand new page. But in this example, I'm gonna create a brand new page and I'm gonna call this scroll motion effects. And then I'm gonna click on use Divi Builder. So for this, I'm gonna build everything from scratch. So I'm gonna click here on start building. And then I'm just gonna close this for now. Next, I'm gonna come over here to my section settings and give this section a background color by just clicking here on this plus button and adding white. Next, we're gonna come over here to the design tab, click on spacing because here we need to add a top padding of 15 VW and on the bottom, we're gonna set this to zero VW. Next, we're gonna come over here to the advanced tab, click on visibility and we are going to set our overflows to hidden. So this is gonna be both on the horizontal and vertical. So I'm gonna click here and set this to hidden and on my vertical overflow, I'm gonna set this to hidden as well. And now it's time to add our rows. So I'm gonna save this, click here on this plus button and add a single column to our row. So in this row now, we are going to make a few adjustments. So let's head over here to our row settings. So I'm gonna click here on this gear icon and then we need to go into the design and then sizing. So here we need to set our width and at the moment it's set at 80% as you can see. So we want this at 90%. And then over here on the maximum width, we want this at 100%. Next, we're gonna come over here to spacing and we're just gonna add zero to the top and the bottom. And to quickly apply this, I'm just gonna click here on this chain icon and that's gonna apply the same value to the bottom as well. So pretty much I'm happy with this. I'm gonna save this and it's time now to add our text modules. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button and search for text and then I'm gonna select it. So in here, you can add whatever text you want that goes with your design. So uh, it can be something that is pretty much in line with your type of website. So I'm gonna add here beautifully crafted websites. Okay, so now that I have my text in here, I'm going to set this to heading one. And now I'm need to go and stylize this text because the, the default font here is not working for this design. So I'm gonna come over here to the design tab, heading text and making sure I'm on heading one here. I'm going to choose my heading font and it's going to be player fair display. So I'm gonna go ahead and select it here. And by the way, this font is free, so you can go ahead and use it, it's a Google font. Next, I'm gonna come over here to my font weight and set this to bold. We also need this centered and the color here is going to be black and our heading text size is going to be 6VW. All right, so now that we have our size, we have our color, everything is all centered as it's supposed to, that's looking great. Now I am going to save this and it's time now to add a second row. So I'm gonna come over here and click this plus button and this row is gonna be a single column, just like the top one. And what I'm gonna do with this is something slightly different. So I'm just gonna close this here and go into my row settings. Right, so with my row setting selected, we are going to add a gradient to the background. So I'm gonna come over here, click on the second tab, because that's the uh, tab that allows us to add our gradient. All right, so let's go ahead and add our colors. So I'm gonna start off by clicking this plus button and add my first color. So my first color here is going to be uh, this uh, slightly dark gray. And then my second color is going to be black. And since here we are on the gradient tab, we are going to uh, make sure it's set to linear and the gradient direction is going to be, let's set this to 237. So now we can see we have a gradient style there. All right, so the next step is to go into design sizing and then over here, we need to set our custom gutter width and we are going to set this to one. Next, we're going to set our width. So we're gonna set this to 100% and I'm also going to set my maximum width to 100% as well. Right, so now that we have our width all set up, now it's time to add our spacing and uh, let's go ahead and do that by coming over here to spacing. And we are going to add a top padding of zero VW and the bottom padding is going to be 10 VW. All right, so now that we have this all set, this is great. We are just setting this so that it's ready for us to add our text module. Okay, 
Now it's time to save this. And now let's add our text module by selecting it here. So I'm going to select my text module and I'm going to replace this text here. Just get rid of it altogether. And I'm just going to add made with DV and WordPress. All right. So now that we have the text, the next step now is to head over here to our design tab and uh, stylize this text. So I'm going to come over here to text, uh, change this to playfair display and then add my color here, which is going to be a gray. Okay. Next, we're going to set our text size. So I'm going to set this to 6VW. Then our text line height is going to be 1EM. The next step now is to add our text shadow color. So I'm going to select my style here for my shadow. And then I'm going to change my color by coming over here. Dragging this slider all the way up and then just pasting my color in here. Okay, so now that I have my text in there, I just need to align this to the center. All right, so now that I've centered my text, I'm going to save this. And then we also need to add another text module to this column. So this is going to be a text module. So I'm going to select this and paste my dummy text in here. But of course, in your case, you can add your actual text. All right, so now that I've added that, the next step now is to stylize my text. So the first thing I need to do is to change my font. So I'm going to come over here to design, click on text. And this time my font is going to be Open Sans. So I'm going to search for it and select it. Next, uh, I want to set my text color. So I'm going to come over here and paste it. And by the way, if you want to use the exact same colors as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. So now that I've added our color, I'm going to come over here to text size and set my text size to 0.9 VW. And then for my line height, I'm going to set this to 2 EM. And the text alignment also needs to be centered just to make sure our design is consistent. Now let's modify our sizing by um, scrolling down here and choosing sizing. So what we need to do here is to set our width at 40%. And for the module alignment, we're going to center it. Now, as you can see, things don't look beautiful here because everything is way too close to the text. So let's head over here to spacing and add a top margin of 10 VW like that. And we also need to add a bottom margin. And this time this is going to be 3 VW. Now I just need to go back over here and make sure this is 10 VW. There we go. So that's looking much better now. All right. So now that we have this all set, the next step now is to add a button. So I'm going to save this and then I'm just going to hover over here and click on this plus button and select my button module. All right. So now that my button is added, we can change the uh, text to the button here if we need to. Next, we're going to come over here to design alignment and just make sure our button here is centered. Now to further stylize this button, we need to come over here to button and activate use custom styles for button. Now it's important that you activate that because that's how we can go in and customize it. The first thing we need to do here is to add my text size and then uh, I'm going to add my text color. Then this is going to be white and my border color also needs to be white. So I'm just going to scroll down here and this is my border, by the way, set this to white and this is going to be one pixel. Now my button font here is going to be open sans because that's the font that we used on our paragraph text. All right. So I'm going to select open sans and for the font weight, we're going to set this to bold. And also let's make this uppercase. Now let's scroll down over here to spacing because we need to give the, this button some breathing space. So what we're going to do here is to start off with our top padding, which is going to be 1VW. And we're going to apply the same to the bottom as well. And we also need to do the left and right. So I'm going to come over here and set my value and activate the chain. So now you can see our button looks much, much better. Right. So now that we've added all the content that we need, it's time now to add our scroll effect. So I'm going to save this. And then we're going to go back over here to our first text module. So we're going to click here on this gear icon, click on advanced scroll effects. And what we need here is the horizontal. So I'm going to click on horizontal motion and activate it. All right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to make a few adjustments. So we're going to start our starting offset here is going to be zero. Our midpoint is going to be zero. And then our final point here is going to be minus 10. All right. So with that set, I also need to make some adjustments here on the bottom viewport. 
And all I have to do here is to drag this all the way to 80%. There we go. All right, so that's what we need to do here. Next, let's go into fading in, fading out. We're going to activate it. And I'm going to start off here with 100%. The midpoint is going to be 100% and then the ending point is going to be zero. Now over here on the viewport, we're going to set this to 70 and then save. Next, let's go on to uh, the second module. Click on advanced, scroll effects. So again, we're going to use horizontal motion and then we're going to activate it. Now this one here is going to be slightly different. We're going to start off here with uh, 10. Our midpoint is going to be zero and our ending point is going to be 10. And then we're going to split this viewport here in the middle and uh, set this to 70. And here we're going to set this to 10. There we go. All right. So that's looking great. We also need to add a fade in fade out for this as well. So we're going to come over here to the third tab, activate fading in fading out. And we're going to start here with zero. The midpoint needs to be 100. And then the last part here, the opacity needs to be zero. All right. So now again, we're going to split this into two. So the first one here is going to be 60. And here we're going to set this to 35. There we go. So as I'm testing this, you can see here that uh, the motion is uh, working. So I'm going to try to and do it really slow. There we go. And as I scroll up, you can see that this is working. All right. So now that we're here, uh, I also like to uh, mention that there's a lot of um, ways you can play around with this. You can also use vertical motion. You can use scaling up, scaling down. It's up to you how your final uh, outcome needs to look like. But it's a matter of experimenting with these three uh, different views here. All right. So I'm going to save this now and then save the page and exit. Now let's take a look at our final design. So you can see here, even as I'm scrolling slowly, now everything is moving apart. And if I scroll down, everything is moving back to normal. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.